All right, what's going on, guys? G.Dog Casey here with another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Um, I just came in here. I don't know why I did this before I recorded, but I came in here and promoted both uh, Rob and Devlin. Uh, Alpaca Patrol upgraded to a sharpshooter, and Devlin upgraded to a specialist. So we got those two there, and we have a mission on the docket right now, don't we? Pretty sure we do. Not that. Yeah, we gotta rescue the soldier, that's right. So we can take three people with us. Let us figure out who we wanna take. And we have everybody available to us. And everybody is a squatty or a corporal. Well, let's take... Let's take Thistle Crown the Specialist and Gila Klein the Grenadier. Since they are bonded together, I'm going to give Helicon the uh, armor as well. And then who's going to tag along as the third wheel here? Who shall it be? A sharpshooter or a ranger? Let's do ranger. Let's take angry gel. Alright, I'm happy. Let's roll. Okay, so let's go ahead and rescue Pratel Mox, who will be useful. I mean, he's a very useful soldier. I do tend to lean away from using these extra guys, and I don't really know why. I guess because they're not really my customized soldiers, so I'm not as attached to them as I should be. But they are very good. They're being held in a high-security advent facility, and our best chance at reaching them will be to go in as quietly as possible. If we're discovered, things are going to get ugly real fast. Alright, so we got concealment here for this mission. The latest intel has our operative being held in the main structure just ahead. We have the advantage of stealth here, so we should try to get in and out as quietly as possible. If the enemy spots us, this is going to get a whole lot harder. These two are working together like a well-oiled machine. Why is he under the bed? Keep them close to each other in the field. They'll reap various tactical benefits as their bond continues to grow. This is true. All right, let's jump up here. Can we see anyone? Hostile targets in sight. Stay clear of those turrets. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. Triggered, eh? Well, let's come al along the left side then. I do remember doing this mission uh, earlier. And I think that it's pretty smart to come along the side because we can completely dodge the turrets. And we want Thistle and Ela to be nearby each other. Okay, nothing's going to happen if we go here. We shouldn't get seen. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, angry jump. And Ela. And as uh, our dude was saying, we can give them, they can give each other one bonus action per mission, which can be the difference between life and death, so. Hopefully, it doesn't come too far over. We have Firebrand on standby for evac, Commander, but as soon as she gets in range, the whole compound will go on high alert. We should hold back unless we have the target, or it's an absolute emergency. I agree. 10-4. Location confirmed. Okay, so we're sliding along the left side here. Should be out of their range now. Yeah, he's turning around anyway. Now we can go in this way. <coughs> Let's run up here. Orders confirmed. On the move. Nothing, huh? Well, we want to be a little bit more careful with how we move our guys. Now. 
I'm gonna move you right up here. Double time. Can you see in there? Nothing. Okay, well then let's move here. Time to motor. Moving to designated position. So they're only guarding one half of this facility here, one side. It looks like we're going to be able to make it all the way in, potentially without triggering anything, which makes me happy. Let's come up here, stay behind cover, get a look in this room. She can hack something? What can she hack? Oh, she can hack the door. System infiltration in progress. Okay. So we have a 61% chance to trigger this without... Uh, to unlock this without triggering the patrols. Research time on current tech reduced by... On fail, no effect. Unlock chance. Yeah. I'll choose a hack reward. I don't care about the research that much. I would rather just have a... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. No, this is the one I would rather. It's going to be harder to hit, but let's just try it. And we failed. So the door will open, but we're going to trigger the security. Firebrand is in position and the compound is on full alert. Time to move. So we're all revealed. Okay, so then in that case, then we're going to be moving up and using Overwatch because I have no idea if other targets are going to come in. <clears throat> Can they see me? They might be able to. So actually, yeah, let's just get in here. And for you... This seems like a good spot. Yeah. Advent forces moving on our has reached maximum alert status. They put out a distress signal and we're already picking up multiple inbound transports. Can you open the door? Can't click on the door. Can you open it? Hey, uh, can you open the door? What if I do it from this angle? We have the package and we're moving to deliver. The package, eh? <clears throat> it's not another living being at all. <clears throat> all right, let's come here. We actually have to pick him up. Um. And there's the evac. So the evac is not too far away. Orders confirmed. Moving out. And this sets up an interesting thing here. Are we in cover? We are not in cover. That was my mistake. Moving on target location. I really wanted to overwatch, but I guess I put Probably. myself in the wrong spot. So we'll put Gila here, and she will overwatch instead. Yeah, I knew that was coming. <clears throat> so I think this is our first time seeing this unit. They call them priests. The has begun deploying their so-called priests into combat. Their implants provide significant enhancements to whatever latent psionic energy they may have once possessed. Quick, get on the roof. Oh, okay. Oh man. All right, things are getting a little rough. Okay, so you, what you need to do? Carry unit. We can conceal her. Oh, carry the unit. Can we? No, we can't conceal now. But. Something we might be able to do. Hold on, let's see. Gila. Oh, this is tough. Where are they? Oh, 
three here. Okay. So they're actually like much closer than I really thought they were. Oh yeah. That's what we like to see. How far can you get? I can get him right on, right over here. Okay, that seems like a good spot. She can't do much else while she's carrying somebody. <laughs> nice. I like that. At least she can come over here. Next turn, she'll be able to evac. Angry Joe is flanked by this person because yeah he's not in proper cover can I still shoot from here I can can I still shoot from here I can't all right it's a little farther but we're gonna back up and we'll try to take a shot here oh wait we're a ranger right no that's stupid it actually did say by the way that we had a shot here and then I moved here and now we don't have a shot anyway which is kind of annoying but we will overwatch I guess Okay, here comes another set. They shouldn't be able to attack this turn, so we should still be able to evac with Pradle. Or with Mox, I don't know what we would call him. Probably Mox. Boom! Through the wall. Okay. Oh, where did this guy come from? Holy warrior. So I wonder if that's similar- oh my god. I wonder if that's similar to the other uh, sectoid moves from the first XCOM. Okay, the first priority is to get you out of here, so we'll do that. There now. It's not like she can help fight while carrying him anyway, so might as well just get her out. Evac. VIP secure and in position for evac. So regardless of what happens now, at least we passed a mission. Jeez. It's a weird, it's a weird situation here. God, there's a guy here too, so totally flanked. So what, I, it looks like, luckily we have a spot right here. 43% chance at that dude. 40% chance at him. Might as well just try the shot. Missed. That sucks quite a bit. Um. What is going on here with this? How come I can't go here? This is where I want to go. Come on, game. Let me go where I want to go. There's a spot right here. It lets me go here, but it won't let me go in this corner for some stupid reason. That is literally exactly where I want to be, and it won't let me go there. Even though it's definitely within my movement. Jesus. So the only thing I can do is come here, which takes me farther than I really want to go. Oh, that's why. I didn't even know that person was there. Okay, well, fuck. I guess that makes sense, though, now. Just die. You're not dead? Oh, no.
Maybe I should have just ran for it. This is gonna hurt. Oh, Overwatch, okay. Don't, don't lock me in, please. No! He, what is he doing? What is that? Okay. Yes, that did happen. Okay. I was really hoping that would happen. That did happen. Good. Stasis ended. Okay. So, as long as we don't get stasis again... Why are you going on Overwatch right there? That doesn't make any sense. What are you doing? Oh, no. Hila. Overwatch. We only have one thing we can do. Trigger the overwatch. Hopefully don't die. Oh my god, no! Oh my god! Things Angry Joe would do for Ela. Let's go. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Everything by the numbers. Mission accomplished. I suppose after having allowed them to be captured, the least you could do is mount a rescue attempt. Well, that mission started off incredibly easy and then finished with my life flashing before my eyes there. For some reason, I didn't expect there to be two overwatches there. Just the AI played it really weird. The AI could have killed me there. Angry Joe, Angry Joe, Angry Joe, Angry Joe. He also took damage, so he's going to be wounded now. Wasn't easy, but Mox has been safely returned, Commander. He's eager to get back into the fight. Okay, well we can promote him. And he's now a sergeant, so we'll give him Shadow Step, which makes it so that he can't be uh, overwatched. <coughs> which is really good. I am glad to return to your service, Commander. I will not forget what you and your soldiers have done for me. Good. Efficiently executed and no casualties. You can lead the Reapers any day, Commander. Well done. Good. Okay. So, first thing, because we have a sergeant now, let's come over here and let's upgrade our squad size. That's huge. So now we're going to be able to take five soldiers in with us. And once we get high enough, we'll be able to take six. But that's going to take a little while. But that's big. So next mission, we'll be able to take more soldiers with us, which I really, really like. Um, no let's check the engineering thing over here. Anything that we need to build? No, we're already good for all that. What about facilities? Yeah, we only have one uh, engineer. So we can build a couple facilities here. The proving grounds. Could be important. The training center as well. But one thing for sure is we're going to need a power relay at some point. So we could build that burst, actually. Let's just build that burst. I'm not exactly sure what else we want to get right now. And for research, that's already good. Okay, so it looks like we're done with like our planning now. Now it's just scanning to the next mission and letting things happen. 
We can get some more rookies if we go here. This is the headquarters of the skirmisher faction. They may look like Advent, but they sure don't act like it. Now that we've established contact, we can scan at this location to gain additional support for our cause. You know them as they were, the soldiers of Advent. Now they are free to choose. If you stay your course, Commander, they will stand with you until the end. Commander, I believe it is time that we meet. I am Betos. First of the freed advent. Resistance orders are powerful strategic abilities unique to each faction. Resistance orders can only be activated. Yeah, we've already done this. Okay. In our people's freedom. In this alliance. In you, Commander. I shall do the same. My skirmishers stand ready should you need them. Okay, so we got supplies here and rookies up here. We were working on the supplies, so let's go ahead and do that. Man, these people talk so much. It is, like, actually, like, so annoying. And I don't know if there's a way to turn it off, either. I actually don't think that there is. Audio. Like, I can turn down the voice volume, but I don't really want to do that. I just want to turn... Yeah, it's not possible. They just never stop talking. We've constructed the See? wing facility, Commander, but currently we don't have any soldiers deployed on covert actions with the resistance. Oh, we don't? Okay. I thought we did. That's right. We did finish our covert action before, so let's go ahead and go out on another covert action. Um, the benefits we gain from working with the resistance. One thing we want to do is locate the Templars. I'm going to do that first. Oh, we don't have a Sergeant Plus? Our soldiers could potentially be attacked or taken captive while in the field. So it's not as easy a decision as it makes. We need an engineer. If you would order us, Commander, we will undertake a new means of disrupting the... Okay, so in this case, um, there is a chance that one of our soldiers can get wounded. A moderate chance, so it's almost like likely. If we had 25 alien allies, we could negate that, but we don't. Now, wounded isn't that bad, so I can do something like add... Oh, hold on, wait. Also, plus one health. So, plus one health sounds like a grenadier wants that. So we can take, like, Matt Malone, for example. Or Ela and Thistle we can send out together. But then we probably wouldn't have them around for our next... Let's send Rockley Smile. And let's see who he is uh, compatible with. Whoops. I guess I can't really do that, can I? I gotta come here? Okay, we'll come here. We'll go to Soldiers, we'll go to Rockley Smile, we'll go to Soldier Bonds. He's really good with Kate. Oh, there we go. Very high with Matt Malone. Two Grenadiers, eh? Or Angry Joe, but Angry Joe's wounded. You're all so that won't work. proud of what we've managed to do here. What uh, you've managed to do with this ship. I just wish he had lived long enough to see us fight. What back. if we take Matt Malone and to look at his bonds? For nothing. Trust me, he knows. If there was one thing your father always kept in mind, it was his we could faith go with in humanity. But he knew we could win. Better off with Angry Joe. Oh. I don't <coughs> I don't want to do two grenadiers. There we go. Kate and Chris Smoove. Okay, that sounds good to me. So let's go back to the ring. Covert actions. Uh, we want the engineer. So we're going to put Kate in there because she's a ranger. She can use an extra hit point. And we're going to put Chris Smoove. Confirm. So one of them might get wounded, but they won't die. So that's that's what matters to me. So we got that dealt with. We're gonna get these supplies. New target acquired. Okay, so we have another uh, another mission here. Operation Crypt Hound, sabotage transmitter, easy difficulty, 136 supplies. The Chosen are much more likely to appear in combat. 
in here. The Chosen could come and they could wreak havoc. So, okay, we're going to confirm. For the Western US precinct. I know it's taken us a while to get shit going in this uh, part of the game because we keep getting these missions. Um, but, that being said, guys, this is where we're going to end this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Again, we had a bit of a... It was pretty easy to start, and then all of a sudden we had, like, a really scary moment at the end there. Um, but, that said, we survived, we made it through, and now, in the next episode, we'll be starting a mission that has a high chance of us being ambushed by this person, which is always interesting and always has a chance for bad things that happen. So, hope you guys are excited for that one. Thanks again, and we will see you next time.